Alright guys, how's it going? Will has a 2k and in this video I'll be doing my round 7 tips. Um, it's going to be a massive round. I'm looking forward to it because the dogs play on Friday against the Bombers. Looking forward to that one. And tomorrow's game is Collingwood and Geelong. So like I did last week, if you want a shout out, comment who you think will win and how much by. The closest um, person will get a shout out. Um, but yeah, appreciate it guys. Alright, so yeah, the first game is Collingwood and Geelong, Thursday night. I think it's going to be 30,000 people there, so that's very, very good for AFL. Um, going to have a pretty big crowd there, but um, it's going to be a very close game because both teams coming off a wonderful win, especially um, Geelong against Brisbane, and even Collingwood, that was a very good win against the Hawks. But Geelong, I don't know, they've both been, Geelong have been in better form coming up to the rant, coming up to now. Collingwood have been in decent form. They didn't play particularly well against Essendon and whoever they played before that. I can't remember what they lost. GWS. But I'm going to have to tip against Collingwood, unfortunately, and tip for the Cats, and I think the Cats will get up by 17 points. Alright, Friday night, my dogs versus the Bombers, and what a clash it's going to be. So important for us, so important for the Bombers. Um, if the Bombers win, they could be in second, couldn't they? I don't know, I'm not sure, but... A massive game for both teams. Dylan Shield is out. Um, I think Josh Dunkley's still out for the Dogs. So two massive outs. Um, and yeah, it's going to be hard to tip this game. But the Dogs have had the wood over the Bombers over the um, past couple of years. And um, both coming into this game with really good form. The Dogs did get belted. But um, they, we both lost to Carlton. So that's one of the things that um, we have in common. But yeah, the dogs um, too good. I reckon will be on Friday night and get the win by six points. Only a thrill, but yeah, it'll get the win. Okay, so the next game is Giants and the Lions, and this is going to be a very interesting clash. Um, so both teams coming off a disappointing loss. Giants could have had a um, win over Port, but that was scrappy and didn't play the best footy. And the Lions um, were magnificent in the first half against the Cats and dropped off since then. Um, it's going to be a massive game, because if Giants win, they'll be in the 8. If the Lions lose, they might go down a couple spots. But going by past games, I think the Lions won last time, I think. No, they lost. They lost in the el elimination final, didn't they? Um, Brett Daniels kicked that goal. But I think the Lions will be too, be too strong and get the win by 27 points. Next, we've got Sydney and the Suns. And what an opportunity for both teams to get a massive win. Sydney struggling at the moment, missing a lot of players. Um... It's going to be very hard for them. And the Suns are playing some very good footy at the moment. They did lose to the Cats and the Ds in consecutive weeks. But they're a young team, so you expect that from them. They had a very good start of the year, and Matt Rowe was injured since then. They haven't been too great. They played pretty well against the Ds. The Ds were just too strong in the end. I've been pretty impressed with the Ds. But um, Suns, I reckon, will smash Sydney. i just got a feeling because Sydney are... Uh, don't have the full strength team and it's not looking like good at all. They only um, managed to get 26 points last week and that was disappointing. It was the worst game I've ever seen in my whole life of AFL to be honest, Richmond and Sydney. And yeah, Gold Coast will be way too strong to win by 39 points. Alright, so next we've got Richmond and North and this is going to be another very good game to watch. Um, North need to bounce back really badly do and Richmond have got the last couple of wins but they haven't been in best fo their best form at all only just scraping past the Demons really and um, only just scraping past the Swans who aren't in great form at all so Richmond like I said I've been getting the wins but I don't think they'll be oh so hard because North haven't been playing great footy either but they haven't been playing shocking footy I just think the North the North Melbourne will be too strong for the Tigers. The Tigers are looking horrible. I think the Roos should bounce back and get a win by 26 points. Next, we have Carlton and Port Adelaide. And what a massive game this is for both teams. If the Power win, they will stay first on the ladder, I think. And if the Blues win, they will go even further up on the ladder. Um, the Blues coming off a very great win against the Dogs. And Power coming off a very gritty win against the Giants. So it's going to be a pretty tough one to pick. But I think Power are way too going to be too strong, not way too strong, just too strong in the end for the Blues. The Blues would give, them, give it, um, a red hot go, but Power would be too good and get the win by 19 points. All right, next we have Hawks and the Ds, and this is a very interesting game to be honest because um, Hawks have had a very couple. Um, the last two weeks have been very disappointing for them. 
going down against the Giants and then going down heavily against the Pies. And the D's coming off a very good win against the Suns. Very um, happy for them. But I think Hawthorne has to bounce back. At, and they are too good of a team to lose three in a row, I reckon, the Hawks. So they should, should beat the D's by a comfortable 28 points. The next game on Sunday, um, 6.35, is the Dockers and the Eagles. And I'm looking very forward to this game because both teams coming off a massive win, especially the Dockers after trailing by so much in the first, and it's a massive game in the complex of the year. It's going to be very fiery, I reckon, both the um, Western Australian teams. And I don't know, it's going to be very tough to choose this because Eagles aren't in the best form, as you know, but the Dockers are um, starting to play some very good football and I'm feeling confident but I think the Eagles will be too good in the end for the Dockers unfortunately and get the win by 15 points. Alright so the last game of the round is Adelaide and St Kilda and Adelaide still um, haven't got a win yet and the Saints coming off a very disappointing loss against the Dockers but um, you can't tip against the Saints in this um, position. They're just too good of a team. They've got two um, many good players, and the Crows are out of form, and I don't think they'll win. So, Saints will easily beat the Crows by, um, I reckon I'm going to go 56 points. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Like I said, I am shouting someone out, whoever guesses the margin of the Pies vs Cats game. So, put your tips in below, and yeah, if you want to win a shout out, to, um, get, tell some friends to watch this video as well. Appreciate it guys.